Hey everyone, it is Danny and welcome to this another countdown video. And so I hope you're all having a wonderful day thus far. It is the start to a brand new week. And so uh, we are now 32 days out from the official start of the Atlantic hurricane season and 15 days out from the official start of the Pacific hurricane season. Now, I don't usually incorporate the Pacific in my update videos. However, I will be making mention of a few things in this update. And we'll also be talking about whether we could possibly see some development in the Atlantic Basin as we're going to be heading into May, which begins tomorrow. And, and of course, the regular update in terms of what is happening across the Caribbean. And so before I go into details... Please do subscribe if you haven't yet done so and tap the notification bell so that you never miss an important update. Okay, and so of course we're going to be starting out with what is currently going on in terms of weather conditions across the Caribbean. Uh, taking a look at the infrared satellite imagery right here, we can see that for the Eastern Caribbean, things are pretty much uh, sunny. It's beautiful today because of course we don't see any activity there. So it's going to be a pretty hot and sunny day. However, there is some activity for the Western Caribbean, some of which is associated associated with a front that extends into uh, parts of the Yucatan and so there was even that blob of convective activity uh, and if you're in Belize uh, hopefully you got quite a bit of rain last night especially if you were longing for it uh, this is a satellite imagery that I captured last night and so we can see a lot of convective activity and uh, if you're in Belize you can let me know in the comments what things were like for your area and not just for Belize but also Guatemala and at first that I activity started out in the Yucatan just as I predicted in uh, the update video that some activity was expected uh, as the day would go on and that is exactly what took place but going back to the current satellite imagery now uh, most of that is dissipating but that moisture still remains across the area and so looking down in the South Caribbean we can definitely see where there is quite a bit of activity uh, down in Colombia and also for Panama so uh, that is completely contrasting and what is happening over in the east where we don't see anything really happening and so now let's go ahead and talk about the possibility of seeing something developing in the month of may so uh, this graph here shows the number of recorded storms for each of the off-season months and of course the, the hurricane season is june to november so the off-season period is december to may and so we can see that may has the highest total of 52 recorded storms and so uh the most recent may system was anna back in 20 21 that developed on the 22nd I believe and uh, it was just out there in the Atlantic not really doing much and it didn't last long either and then before that in 2021 there was Arthur and Bertha that also developed in May. Notice the points of origin of the southeastern coast of the US and uh, that is something I want to talk about now because we still have those fronts making their way out of the US and what happens sometimes is that uh, while they dissipate the tail end of that front might remain uh, with some moisture and so in the presence of the right conditions there is sometimes development and that is what happens with quite a bit of systems that's developed uh, in the month of May and even in the hurricane season as well. So that is why even as we head into June, we see that it is usually sections of the Caribbean go into the U.S. Uh, that is highlighted for potential development because of those fronts that make their way out uh, and the moisture that might remain behind after they dissipate. So of course, uh, with those weaker upper level winds and above average temperatures, that would provide a lovely breeding ground for tropical cyclones. But of course, uh, as we're going to be heading into the next couple of weeks models are not picking up on anything developing within that time frame however uh, anything can change at any time and as a matter of fact there are above average temperatures across the Atlantic so let's look at this anomaly map here and we can definitely see that things are definitely warming up across the Caribbean and also off the southeastern coast of the US and the Gulf of Mexico then let's head over into the eastern Pacific Basin we can definitely see that things are warming up there as well but uh, no signs of development as we're going to be heading into the next couple of days maybe for the next week or two so it seems as though there won't be any preseason activity over in the eastern pacific basin before the official start of that hurricane season on the 15th of may
and uh, there is going to be a pretty good chance of seeing quite a bit of activity because, of course, that El Nino is anticipated, which typically induces more activity over in the Pacific, though it results in less in the Atlantic. So we find that in El Nino seasons, uh, even though we don't see much happening in the Atlantic Basin, the Pacific completely contrasts that and it's the opposite where a lot of tr uh, tropical cyclone activity takes place. But of course, guys, I'm going to be keeping you updated on all that is expected as we're going to be heading into the next couple of weeks. And so even yesterday in the community post section of my channel, I asked whether you think that we could see preseason activity this year. And 85% of voters said yes. Meanwhile, 15% said no. So uh, let's wait and see what's going to be happening. It is certainly not impossible. As I said, we have those above average sea surface temperatures. So in the presence of favorable wind shear, then of course, we could definitely see something spin up and of course i'm going to be keeping you posted on all of that and that is pretty much it for this update so if you have any questions feel free to leave them down in the comments and you can also share your thoughts there and of course remember to always be weatherwise